Keith Thibodeau was too young to understand what acting really meant when he auditioned, but those few years as the Ricardo's son gave him a spot in TV history. So we wanted to know, where is he now? I Love Lucy was a top-rated show for CBS in the 1950s. It stars like Lucy and Desi Arnaz and their on-screen son who draw in millions of viewers, even in syndication. Nearly 60 years later, little Ricky is all grown up. Keith Thibodeau has taken a bow out of the spotlight for the most part. He's lived in Jackson, Mississippi for years and works with his wife at this ballet company. But more on that later. Thibodeau agreed to give us a trip down memory lane in his role in the iconic series. His rhythm put him on the map at a young age. It's what eventually landed him the role of Ricky Ricardo Jr. When I got on the set, Lucy looked at me and she said, well, he's cute, but what does he do? And my dad said, well, he plays the drums. And she says, oh, come on, you know. Desi finally came over and he, he started jamming with me on the drums. He stands up and he says, I think we found little Ricky. There's only a few small reminders of the show around Thibodeau's office. Here's my favorite episode, George Reeves, Superman. Came to my birthday party. An amazing guy. I really thought he was super. When I shook hands with him, I said, man, he really is super. For all the laughs the show provided viewers, Thibodeau found himself in a very adult world. For a kid, it was a little, it was a little lonely, uh, if I can say that. There were, there were no other kids on the set. He was close friends with the Arnaz family, both on and off set. I can look back with, at it and say that it was sad. For all that going on, they were not very happy people. He says it's a testament to the acting to see how they could go from professional couple to fighting at home. We're always, you know, amazingly put together, but also they couldn't live together. Thibodeau remembers Lucy taking care of him on set, even buying him birthday presents. His first love of playing the drums helped him find moments of happiness during those years. But when Lucy and Desi split, he was unemployed at the age of nine. He eventually got a role on the Andy Griffiths show and others later. The drumsticks kept rolling as he joined this Laurel-based band, David and the Giants, in the early 70s. He left the group after becoming a Christian. Unlike stars of today, the paparazzi wasn't following his every step as he moved into life after Lucy. I all need a savior. I needed a savior from, from being a child star and, and just the... the the fallout from that with drugs and all the things that I got into and I could have gone the way of all the, the child stars, but God had mercy on me. The band reformed as a Christian group. While they still record, Thibodeau's full-time job is executive director at Ballet Magnificat in North Jackson. They have professional touring companies that perform nationally and internationally. He travels with them, helps schedule performances, and oversees other operations around the studio. It's a role he never imagined, but he and his wife have fostered it into a worldwide ministry. He learned young that there's more behind the glitz and glamour. Hollywood life is, is just, it's just a sham, you know, it's, it's a facade, it's a, it's a fleeting dream of greatness that people get and have, and, and it's, it's just temporary. You know? If you check the credits of the show, you actually won't find Keith Thibodeau. He was credited on the show as Richard Keith because Desi thought Thibodeau was too difficult for people to pronounce.